Facebook is hopefully a familiar thing for most people. Facebook has a lot of opportunity for businesses. Facebook provides lots of potential ways of gaining buyer personas attention and getting buyer personas through to your own blog and your website. The first thing you need to do is to attract the attention of the buyer persona. You need to make them stop in their timeline and look at an item that is potentially a video, an audio track, an image, or something that appeals to your particular buyer persona. If you've got them to stop, you've then got the chance for them to look and to like. Like isn't the end of it. Like is only one indication that you're doing something right. Ultimately, you need to be building a community. You need to be building a community that is on Facebook, but a community that is also encouraged and is in fact happy to visit your blog for more detail, for more detail about the imagery, about the audio, about the video that they've already found there. And by doing that, you're creating a, a line of communication with your buyer persona that spreads from one platform, Facebook, through to your website and your blog. Well, actually, uh, the, key, the key tools would be um, probably Facebook, because uh, we can reach a maximum amount of people, passive candidates, and uh, uh, to reach passive candidates and job seekers is very important because uh, then we can find uh, different talents. And basically, uh, even a company, when they share a job posts with their employees, they kind of do the marketing campaign as well, because their employees are sharing the job post and they are attracting more people for, to our website as well. So, the Facebook is known for personal networking, actually, but it's more and more um, closely uh, bridged and linked with the business uh, world. We use Facebook really to create and build a network um, of, of candidates um, and that want to engage with our business and with our company and it tends to be a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more leisure driven on Facebook so the types of activity and the types of content that we would produce there are potentially competitions for example or it would be light-hearted research um, or information or um, you know sort of um, content that we want to share through um, through Facebook. We are talking the language of different Okay, you have to be more you know, serious in the search, in the display, you can play with images. But on Facebook, I think it's, uh, it's a channel with uh, more fun and more entertainment. Okay? And I can see that people are more keen to talk to you on Facebook, to leave a comment or even send an email. We can see that uh, a lot of prospect clients, they are sending us messages to Facebook Okay, asking for prices and they are not going to the online chat we have on eShop. They think it's, it's something more, I don't know, a more cozy place for them. So we follow the motto, say what you mean and mean what you say. We've learned that people like when they see some faces behind a company name. In other words, building this sense of community around the brand involves content that appeals to the customers emotionally. Therefore, we regularly post, post content with uh, our employees or the backstage of the production process. First, throughout the season, we produce hundreds of designs. Only some of them go into production. There are times we have five great new products and we can only produce one of them. So instead of the, our designers making the decision, we put it to a vote on Facebook to see which one is the best. So in this sense, we use social media to test our designs.